he just has that speed that you really can't teach. His ability to change the game with his speed is his biggest characteristic. I'm a playmaker. I can make the big play to really change the game. Carnell Davis can flat out fly. It's probably the separation I get off the ball, the way I can uh, create some space off the ball and what I can do um, when the ball's in my hands. He averaged over 20 yards a catch as a junior. So, you know, he could really get sep get deep separation. He's a big play guy. Speed changes everything on the football field. I mean, he's the type of guy you uh, the opposing defenses really need to cover him with two guys. You need a cornerback on him and you probably need a safety over the top. Lehman picks the ball up off the grass, floats a pass to the near corner of the end zone. Davis makes a diving catch. And who do the Hermits go to? Cornell Davis in between two defenders. He hauls in the contested five yard touchdown. The Galloway native and Rutgers commit had to sit out the first month of the season after transferring to St. Augustine from Florida. But once he became eligible, Davis made an immediate impact for the Hermits all over the field. He stepped up and when he got, you know, when his number was called, he made some big plays, and then even on the defensive side too, he made some 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 big plays and some big games. And he's very good on defense too. I I, I know he was, was recruited more uh, as a receiver, but he's very good on uh, defense. Good good cover guy on defense. He can really play either side of the ball. Uh, he plays you know primarily safety for Augies on that side, and you know very effective. Fourth and goal for Spirit with two minutes to go. Cohen scrambling to the far sideline. He tries to flip it into the end zone, but again, it's Davis there to smack it away. Cornell Davis seals the win for St. Augustine. Davis sealed another win for St. Augustine on a much bigger stage. His long touchdown catch against Seton Hall Prep in the non-public Group 4 playoffs will go down as one of the most memorable plays in Hermit's history. He had a quiet game, and then when they needed it the most, they had saved the play, and boom, they break him on the sideline for a 60 or 70 yard touchdown in the fourth quarter. St. Augustine's first offensive play after is this. Lehman to Carnell Davis and he's gone. 80 yards. Carnell Davis breaks the game wide open. So we kept running jet sweeps the whole game. We ran about at least like 10 jet sweeps that game. And we didn't pass the ball at all. Every time we ran jet sweep, we'd give it. But the quarterback has the option to take it. There are only four minutes to go. So we got the ball in our own 20 and, you know, we were talking on the sideline and said, listen, if we're going to do it, let's do it, you know, on first down, you know, when they would least expect it. So we faked the jet sweep. The safety came down, biting on the uh, on the run, and we threw it right over top of his head. He reacted too late and it was a touchdown. Once he caught it, you know, I just knew he wasn't going to be caught, you know. So yeah, it was, what what a ebb and flow of that game and the and the change of emotions was just incredible. It was a perfect perfect play in a perfect situation. It was a perfect ball. Davis and the Hermits then took eventual state champion St. Peter's Prep down to the wire before losing in the sectional semifinals. St. Augustine had long been a dominant program in South Jersey, but a program that often fell short when the Hermits had to travel north. Just like Carnell Davis, last season's playoff run was a game changer. We know we can compete with the top with the top schools up there now. So we know this year we had to get it done. Last year we got too close not to win it all. So this year we know we can go up there, we can compete with those guys. So right, this year we think is the year. And it's my senior year and I had to I came to the school. I want to get the school and ring.